Hey everyone, how are you? I think, is my camera messy? Yeah. <laughs> Where is the camera? I don't think that's going to help. Is that any better? Hi, hey Joy, how are you? So I'm sharing today a mask that I made for my son. I don't know if you know it, but I'm on the design team for Canvas Core Brands and they also own Tattered Angels Paints. Can you see him? So good to see you, Joy. I'm praying for you. So um, they own Tattered Angels Paints, tatter and which I've been using for years, and I use them to make, let's see if I can get the lighting right. The lighting is terrible. Oh, cool. The lighting. Okay, there. Now you can see it. This mask. My phone feels foggy. I'm going to have to do this again. So I made this mask for my um, then 15-year-old son, and he actually can wear it. It is too small for me. I used um, Tim Holtz gears and chipboard gears and found things, and that gold color, that beautiful gold patina comes from those paints. Goes all the way around. I used it. I um, broke apart a purse for the belt buckle. <laughs> so that I could have the leather. So that's a purse strap. <laughs> Thank you so much. And there's a lot of detail. I tried to put as much detail as I could in it. Oh, thank you. He asked for it. He said, Mom, could you make me a steampunk mask? And I said, hmm. It was kind of a challenge. And then I'm like, oh, I really, I, I, I couldn't resist. I'm like, well, you know, that might cost a little bit of money. That might be the only thing you get for your birthday. And he's like, I know, Mom, but it would be so cool. I use scrap leather. These are, um, most everything here is a scrapbook thing or else a found thing. Like these are all found, of course. And this wire thing was, I don't know what. It was some part from something. And the paint is all. Tattered angels, and then the gears. Um, I have photos. There are photos of my son wearing it on the Canvas Core Brands Studio blog. And if you look up Steampunk Mask there, this will come up. And behind it is the box it goes in. <laughs> behind it is the box. It took me forever to find this particular box. It is a repurposed radio. It is not an antique radio. The dial moves. I'm so proud of that moving dial. I can't tell you. And the knobs click. It says Doc, Oc, Dr. Oculus Electromagnetic. It is one of those um, reproduction. It used to have a cassette player here. I pulled that out. These are just pieces. More gears. Lots of gears. Gears everywhere. It has handles. The handles work. You can lift it up. And the door opens. And the mask goes inside. Door opens and the mask goes inside. And all of this patina and paint and everything, that is all, some of the first layer was craft paint, but all the golden deliciousness and the dark colors, that's all Tattered Angels paints. And I'm not going to show you the inside of the box today. <laughs> I just tease it today. So the mask fits in here. It has its own little shelf. Both sides have the, um, both sides are decorated with gears and workings. And the idea was that the box would kind of not only hold the mask, but it would be the power to make the mask work. It would be the, the, the repair case and the power case. The, so whatever this mask does, I don't know, some kind of x-ray electromagnetic thing, that the box would hold the mask and you could plug it in and it would power it up. And, and um, there are some really cool pictures of my son in a trench coat wearing the mask and holding the box and walking down the street. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that today because I hadn't shared that. And I made, again, you can, if you want to see more, I made it quite a, I actually, it's almost a year old. I cannot believe it. I made it last year for my son's birthday. And um, it is on the Canvas, C-A-N-V-A-S, Core, C-O-R-P, Brands Studio Blog. And if you just type in Steampunk Mask, 
or to Poppins, this will come up. Joy, thank you so much. I'll have to make you something steampunk sometime. Do you like vintage things? I have, I love vintage things, so I have quite a few vintage papers. I can make you another card of another flip book. And these are the beautiful paints I used. I used um, Glimmer Glam glitter paint, high impact old gold and high impact um, gold. I used mists. And I can tell you right now, I used way more than that. You could probably get that patina without that many. You might need a couple more colors, but I, I, wouldn't, I love using those kind of things. I would love to see some of your steampunk stuff. You should take pictures and um, put them on Facebook, or you can scope them. You could totally scope them. I would love to have one of those steampunk dresses and, like, a pistol and a mat. Oh, a top hat. Oh. That would be so fun to do something like that. But that's a big investment. <laughs> this was a big investment. Just doing this. <laughs> so that would be a big investment. But I'd love to make a belt. Something. So my son can wear this. It does unbuckle, but it's kind of just fitted for his head. It will not. There are two straps, and the second strap doesn't unbuckle. The, it's the first one that unbuckles. This actually comes apart so that you can take this black lens out. And there's one more piece that will attach to it, but it's inside the box, and I'm not going to get it right now. So I just wanted to share that. Yes, Joy, I'd absolutely love to see your steampunk stuff. Um, you guys have a great day. And you can find me at thepoppins.com or, again, the Canvas Core Studio blog. And you can also find me at Your Dory because I am part of the Your Dory Crafty team of goodness. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Be blessed. Have a great... Oh, wait, wait. I'm going to turn around. Can you see me? Okay, I'm trying to turn it around. Why won't... I'm double tapping. Oh, there I am. Look, I'm wearing makeup. That's what I want to show you. <laughs> okay. Be blessed. Joy, it's so good to see you. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for that house situation. I know that God has a plan in that, and I know that you know that too. But I'll lend my prayer and support. Everybody else, other four people in the room, thank you very much. Um, be blessed. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.